Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 84. In this video, I will be taking apart a 35mm film camera. This is an Olympus Stylus automatic camera. And it is able to superimpose the date and time. I did put a battery in it, and it did come to life. I can also zoom in and out. And if I push down the flash, it'll turn off. Here's where the film would go. There's none in it, of course. And where we're going to take a look inside and see what it has to offer. I'm really interested in seeing how it does the date and time. I'm going to grab some tools and I will be right back. Before we start tearing into this, let's take a look at the zoom mechanism from behind. Looks like there's a little ribbon cable there. We can kind of see how it zooms in and out. We'll get a better look at that when we're further in. Looks like there's an outer collar that rotates. Now I'll see if I can get the shutter and flash to show up. I'll press it a few more times. You can hear the flash charge. If you heard it, let me know. Now let's get inside this thing. The battery that it uses is right in this side panel. It's a CR123 lithium cell. I'll set the battery aside and let's get inside this thing. Remind me to discharge a flash capacitor. I'll start here, there's a screw here. That metal piece holds the strap in place. Interestingly, there's some double-sided tape and the backing is still on it. Yeah, that's double-sided tape, all right. I'm going to have to get that off and see what's underneath it. So under the pads, there are some connectors here. I'm assuming those are going to be some test connectors. That way they can test it real quickly during production. Anyway, let's carry on. Looks like there's a little rubber plug here. And I bet there's a screw under that. And then there's a couple more behind the back cover. So these three screws here are the same length. And there's one here that is quite a bit longer. I should be able to slide the back door off. And the battery door fell off too. Perfect. Now the film door also has this back spring-loaded plate. Now I'll just work my way around and see if I can get this further apart. Now I am going to have to be careful of the flash capacitor. Like I said earlier, remind me to discharge that thing. Looks like it has a little gasket of sorts. We can see some of the gearing here. Looks like this is for rewinding the film. So the roll of film would sit here and it goes over to this side. I'm going to pause for a moment and see if I can get the front cover off. So the front cover is coming off. It holds the flash, so that's going to stay behind. 
Looks like it also has a control panel for the date and time. Now I'm going to cut these wires and then I'll be right back. I have to go get my wire cutter and then I'll be back. Here's the display that shows what picture you're on and whether the flash is on or not. These two wires go to the flash. And this is a display for the date and time. That's what I really want to get into. Hopefully we'll get a better look at the telephoto mechanism. And here's the capacitor for the flash. This is what I need to be careful of. It's 240 microfarad. Not sure what voltage it is, because I can't see that right now. Pull this cable off, maybe we can get a better look at the label. Is that 350 volts? Not sure. And that I need to discharge before I zap myself. Let's short those pins and see if we get a little spark. Alright, so we got a little spark. It's a good thing I discharged it. I would have gotten a little zing had I touched that. Yeah, it's discharged. Now let's go further. Here's the gears we saw earlier. They're underneath all this wiring, and there's a plate down here. I'll yank some of this stuff off of here. I'll be right back. So I got that harness out of the way. Now we have this plate, which holds all the gears in place. And here's all the gears falling off. That's pretty much all there is to see on the bottom of the camera. This is the manual rewind button. It's labeled right on the bottom of the case. Let's continue around to the front and we'll see what's under here. Here's a close-up of the chips on the front, one by Sharp, and the other one by NEC. We're getting close to the date-time superimposer. That's the part I'm really interested in seeing. Still trying to pull this tiny stuff apart. Now we're seeing the other side of those connectors. These connectors will allow the camera to detect what speed film is in the camera. Is it 200? Is it 400? This will detect it. So this is all part of the flash control. I 
I'll carefully remove these. And now I'll pull the flash capacitor out. Cut a couple more wires here. And I'll set that all aside. This is the part I'm really excited about. Anyway, here's the viewfinder. So now this is the collar that rotates for the telephoto. And that's what allows everything to zoom in and out. So all those gears we saw on the bottom, not only do they rewind the film, but they also drive the telephoto lens. Now I think the motor that drives everything is right here. Yeah, there's the motor. Let me cut a couple wires here. And there it is. That drives everything. Advancing the film, rewinding the film, zooming in, zooming out. It's all right here. And I think there's a planetary gear set in here. There sure is. Look at that. So here we have the ring gear and the sun gear. And in my cutters are the planet gears. So this motor will move at a high rate of speed, but the output will move at a significantly lower speed with a higher torque. And it looks like there's a brass gear on the front of the motor. Seems like everything is also covered in white lithium grease. Either that or some kind of silicone grease. So it looks like that motor drives the whole camera. And it all depends on what these gears are doing. Determines whether it's running the telephoto, advancing the film, or rewinding it. There's a solenoid here I found, and I have the feeling that probably runs the shutter. Watch where this lands. So when I took the screw out, everything shifted, and it shot the center out. So now it's just a coil of wire with a hole in the middle. And the center is somewhere in the room. Let's see if we can get a better look at the telephoto mechanism. Now let's take a look at the viewfinder setup, because that also will zoom in when you go into telephoto. I'm going to adjust my setup a little bit. So here's the mechanism that will superimpose the date and time on the film. We'll get into that in a bit. So here is the viewfinder. 
So this lens here will adjust with the main lens. So that will allow the telephoto of the actual camera to match the viewfinder, or more accurately, the viewfinder to match the camera. Now there's also a couple of status LEDs. I believe they are for flash charge and focus. Now this is the lens you're actually going to be looking into. I think we've gotten into this about as far as we can. I'd like to actually get the lens off, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyway, let's move on to the part that it superimposes date and time. Here we are. So this actually is where the date and time is projected onto the film. Right through here, onto the film. Let's see if we can get further into this. So I was able to carefully pry into this. And now we can take the top off. Here's the LCD display that we would be looking at to set the date and time. It's got the zebra stripes on it. And you can see parts of it activating just by my finger touching it. Now, of course, it doesn't want to do it now that I'm in the center of the frame. And we can see the blob chip on board that runs everything. There is an LED here that actually does the projecting. Now I've seen older ones, now this one's pretty old as it is, that have an actual incandescent light instead. Now there should be a second display on the other side. Here's a quick close-up of the zebra pad for the LCD. And that's what connects the LCD to the circuit board right there. Let's try to get this other side off and find that second display. There it is. The second display that is used to project onto the film. I believe this one is also in reverse. Here's the two displays side by side. And that is the entire date time function assembly. And that's all there is here. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.